Yo, what up guys? Back for another one here. Uh, this video, we're going to mess around with the thermostat. I got a brand new one in the box, but it's got to transfer some parts over from the old one. I'm not exactly sure what. So we're going to explore that today and then clean up all those coolant hoses and the after pump thing and whatever other sensors back there. All that's like all dirty, got oil on it, and it's all nasty. So that all needs to be cleaned, installed. Um, we can get the fuel rail one. Um, maybe clean up the alternator as well. We can slap that on too. And I don't know. See what other little things we can get into. I just want to get as much as I can done while I can't do the timing. Waiting on, uh, I need to order our high pressure fuel pump bolts. Forgot about those. I need to order those. But yeah, just do as many of the small things as I can until I get the valve cover and then put the cams in. And then once the tool shows up on Tuesday so I can rotate the cams, uh, we can get all the timing set. I don't know when the bearings will be here for, frick, I can't do the timing at all until I get the bearings that I broke for the balance shaft. So anyway, it's all going to come together. I'm just trying to get as much as I can done uh, while I can't do other things. So I might even take the uh, throw out bearing, toss that on the trans, pull the trans out, I need to Paint that tomorrow sometime. All right, let's get to work. Let's see this stuff. And we'll go over here. We'll grab the thermostat, which is really nice to see every day at this box. Is part. This thing was full to like the brim. Every day this box is getting a little bit more or less. I can actually start taking some of these other boxes. Somebody's socks. Um, yeah, we got a turbo blanket in there. Actually, I want to go set that on the turbo. See how that looks. Got the fluid amper in there. I don't even know what's in that. I need to look. But yeah, let me show you guys this. Put this baby out real quick. I left my stand in the garage, so excuse my. I need to use my hands here. So all the hardware for it by itself. Um, it's there. Got looks like two brand new gaskets on there. That's where the. Uh, the crossover pipe is from the uh, heat exchanger. But this is like the section I need. I'm going to have to take it apart on the other one and see how this all works in here. So I'll go disconnect that. Uh, the hose is off the other one and bring it in here. I need to put it on something or I'll probably set it on this so I don't make a mess. Hopefully there's no coolant left in it. Uh, so these come off pretty easily. Pop that bad boy. Come on. Just good. Oh, keyboard. We got another one down here. I can't recognize any differences between the two. Looks like I'm just gonna pull this off, this plate, and it's probably just gonna sit back down in there. I'm not sure. This little shaft doesn't spin. So, I'm not sure. We're gonna figure this out. Hopefully there's not some seal I gotta replace here or something. So it looks like I was all I was missing like two. I don't know what's up with that. And there's like plastic in these uh, in these holes. I don't really know what's going on here. This is an odd. odd. We'll get a flathead. See if I can pry this baby off. Woo! Okay. Yep, and there's definitely a gasket there. <laughs> ah. So there's your water pump. Inside of it at least. The belt. Can't or can't can shaft. Balance shaft has a belt cog that goes to this it spins it spins this side and pushes her through I don't see any let me get the camera over I don't 
really confused as to why there was only a couple screws in it. It's odd, very odd. And it never leaked, never had an issue with it, so I'm gonna leave it the way it was, but this is how it looks. I thought this inside part spun or something, but it's like the only moving part. And the rest of it's electronic. With the thermostat, you can see there's like springs and things, and I don't know. I don't know exactly how it all works, but some magic in there. <laughs> Toss it back on, I guess. Clean up the seal a little bit. It doesn't look bad. I probably, I'm gonna look through my, maybe they sent me one. And this is why I keep a junk drawer of old hardware or hardware that could be recycled at least. Same thread pitch, almost the same length. Um, I'm missing two, so I'll slap two in. Hopefully uh, it won't harm anything. I wouldn't imagine it would. It's really weird that there's two missing. That's so odd to me. Um, I should just thread right in. Yeah. There's no like, it kind of does look. Maybe, it's, maybe there was screws there and they backed out over time. I don't know. Oh, I put that in the wrong place. And I'll just ooga dooga these down real quick and then we'll toss it on the car. Alright boys, like I said, all the hardware that connects this to the block is it stays in there. Um, I am going to lube this up a little bit here, or the o-ring at least itself. Um, slide that on there and then just lock them all down. And then I'm going to do a little center whatever thing that goes here and then the one for the back, the little after pump. And then end it there. There it is. Two alignment pins for it that are in the block. And like I said, you got this guy over here, you gotta slip that into. Try and see how this works. Okay. Got it on that, got it on that. Screw them by hand at least. So this kinda messes with the amount of room here that I have to get that on. Yeah, I got room to come through this way still, but can't forget that. All right, got the water pump all on. Uh, just gave her, you know, some hand tight love. Uh, everything looks good back there. Looks great. Swapped out my yellow zip ties for blue ones. And uh, I don't know why this is in there at all. Now I remember this is for the manifold, it's that post that goes to it. This goes underneath. I'm starting to remember where everything goes here. Anyway, got some things to throw here on the side and on the back. Let's get to that. Alright, some very simple uh, nut and bolt here. Got this on. And back here, got the little after pump thing on. Got the hose ran to that. Um, and there's this heat shield there for it. I don't remember the orientation of which it goes on this pump, so I wanted to go back through my pictures and look. I forget. Uh, there we go. There's some focus for us. So I got these. Turbo all done today. That hooked up. We'll find some caps for these real quick. And then uh, toss this here fuel rail on real fast. Move up these O-rings. I think one of these connectors that goes up there. Nice. I'm excited. Very excited. Looking good. Well, I should have put the camera up on the stand, but I needed her hand and whatever, but we got everything on. Cinched down. Looking good. I'm not exactly sure if this is how these injector clip things are supposed to go. They're kind of loose. I'm about to go look in the book and see. I didn't bring it out here with me. Um, yeah, water pump tight. This shenanigans tight. Turbo's all tightened up. Looking good. Once we get the cams on, we can get the high pressure fuel pump on. Valve cover, so many things. Progress, though. So. Yo, welcome back on this video. I know we did a couple things. Tried to get the uh, balance shafts in and stuff, but it's not gonna happen. Parts are gonna be here on Thursday. I don't know if I'll throw it in the end of this video, make this extra long, but we got some random things to do um, while we're waiting on parts. So, we already we got the trans paid in, we got the downpipe back, downpipe needs to go in, cam cover's already on, you guys will be seeing that in the very next video, I believe. Um, I need to clean up the engine bay some. It's one of them things, I've done spent so much time cleaning already, 
and I gotta clean more. So I gotta clean that up, downpipe in, I need to take the front wheels off, raise the coilovers ever so slightly, I need to find part numbers for the fender liners. Um, what else? A couple other random things. Oh, waiting on the seats to show up. Then I'm gonna start another video with that. And seats and brackets that mount to the actual seat brackets, but the seat brackets won't be here. I don't think they don't ship till next week or what's it, 23rd? They ship like Friday or Saturday. And then my harnesses should be here about the same time as the brackets, um, which will be next week sometime basically. And by then we should have the motor and trains in. So let's get to let's get to uh, get to clean. I should have showed you guys what this looked like first caked in dirt and whatnot over here. I'm actually gonna delete this too. Uh, shout out to Alan for letting me know. We can just really easily coat it out. I remember turning off the light in my uh, Mark IV. I don't know why. Like when he told me that, I was like, oh yeah, duh. I just answered my own question. So this is gonna get out of here. Usually I keep this like semi full just so the light won't come on, but I, I literally never ever use this where I live. It like never rains and the car is basically going to be a race car now, so I mean, I'm going to keep the windshield wipers, Rain-X, the, the windshield, I don't need this. I got rid of the pump and the lines, if you guys remember, for the bumper anyway, and all that. It's just, it's useless to me, so I can get rid of this line if I really wanted to, whatever. Um, but that's going to come out. I'm going to continue cleaning. You can see down in here, I got some spots I really like to clean up. And this is all gross, and get the brush in here and kind of brush all this stuff out. These wipes are cheap. I bought these during the quarantine um, because they were out of like the good stuff and they sucked in the house, but they seem to be getting the grease off pretty good. So here, now you guys can see this side. It's gonna be a lot harder with this whole rat's nest, but get this cleaned up over here the best we can. Sorry about the wind. It's a very windy day today, but I just took out the uh, washer reservoir. Lots of nasty gunk behind it. You can kind of see here, freed up quite the amount of space. Makes me happy. It's gonna be a lot e easier to get the motor in here now. I like snagged on that a few times on the way out, so. I can take that bracket off too. And then clean up that whole area. Yo, so back again the next day. Uh, bay's nice and cleaned up. I already kind of put stuff in the way. Um, I'll give you a sneak preview. I got the dime pipe in there. I don't want to show you guys yet because you're going to see that in the next video. Got my wheel off here though. I'm about to raise the coilovers up a little bit. You see how bad my fender liners are? That's why I got to raise the car because I added too much caster and it hit. So I think raising it up a little bit should help. Um, yeah, hopefully. We'll see. But uh, I'm going to show you guys too much. The bay's pretty clean. Oh, there's a down pipe. Oh man, clean as she's going to get. Alright, well, that's it. That's all I got for this video. Uh, yeah, Kirky got here yesterday. I'm so happy, so excited to unbox it. I'm about to do that on video here next. So, oh, after I raise these coilovers. Anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Really helps the channel out a lot. If you haven't seen the rest of the series, there's like a whole um, playlist you can click. Watch the whole thing. Uh, videos should be out Monday and Thursday. Hit the hype button. Hype button. Yeah, the hype button. Basically, what it does is hype up the videos for me. So hit that hype button, and I'll uh, catch you guys on the flip flop.